Hi, and welcome to the Crunch Quick Guide to the banking section of your Crunch account. So we're gonna take a quick overview of the banking page and its features. So the main part of this is listing your company bank accounts. Now you can add new bank accounts or new credit cards by following the button here, and you can then choose your accounts that have been listed by selecting them from the drop-down menu. So I'm gonna very quickly add in my credit card details for my company. Now, it's really important that you only ever add company cards. Your personal bank account details should always be kept separate, and that's really important. So I'm entering in the details here, and I'm gonna save the card. Now we've got more than one account, we can record transfers between them. So when I make a payment from my main account into my credit card account, it's as simple as choosing the from account, the destination account, setting the date, and then listing the amount of the transfer. So recording the payments between our accounts is incredibly simple and straightforward. And we can see any historical ones here. If we ever deposit money into the account, we can record that um, from the bank deposit section. So on the bank deposits page, we can select new bank deposit, and we can then simply choose the account that it was paid into. So the main account, the date, and then we can put the type of money. So if you deposit your own funds into the company, your personal money, you can enter that accordingly and save the bank deposit by selecting the drop down menu. We can also record interest. Um, if you get paid interest from the bank, you simply need to enter the date, the amount that the interest was paid to you, and then the account in which it was paid into. So very nice and straightforward. The important part about your banking page is reconciling your banking accounts. Now we do have a separate in-depth guide about bank reconciliation, but in order to get started, you need to upload your bank statement, which is the all important part. So to do this, we can follow the upload new statement button. Now you need to download the bank statements from your online banking service in a CSV bank statement file. Once you have this saved on your computer, now, if you're not sure about how to get this, I would advise that you have a look on your online banking help center um, or go into your bank and ask some questions and they'll be able to point you in the direction. Once you've got it saved, you can choose the file from your desktop and you can then upload it. Now, once the file is uploaded, you get a chance to check out the format and make sure that it looks correct. So we can see we've got the date, the reference, paid out, paid in, and then the balance on the right-hand side. I'm happy that that's all correct as well. Now we can import the statement and we can choose to import and start reconciling. So this is the reconcile screen that we see in front of us. And essentially what we're doing is matching the entries on the left-hand side off against the entries on the right. So my first entry shows 3,000 pounds paid in from the client supermarket. So I can choose to match that now. The next entry shows another payment in from our client and I can choose also to match that and move on to the next one. The entry finally is another expense payment which can also be matched. Now if you're not able to match the entries you can use the new payment button to create new entries in order to then match them off. So we can now tick to reconcile these entries and that will then save the reconciliation up to the date that we show here. Now reconciling your accounts is incredibly important because it needs to be done in order to produce your year-end accounts and it also allows your crunch accountants and account managers to have an accurate and up-to-date view of your current figures and bank account details. This concludes our quick look at the banking tab and getting started. If you want to know more about reconciling your accounts and using the crunch software, please check out the other banking guides available in our help center and online.